optimistic progening variable optimistic useful information to students and if you have any critical questions or scenario based based questions please share with me and uh, i do answer the questions if i doesn't know i'll reach out somebody who is experts i'll get answer for all your questions today i want to talk first of all i want to give ground information about this uh, point what is the use of future string this future string about first is what is the use of optimistic progening variable optimistic variable in workflow the question was they asked me what is the use of optimistic variable in workflow so variable there actually instead of i tell you a direct answer you can't remember or mug up the answer right so i want to give for every questions more explanation so that you can answer that question your own way so some workflows we are going to define variable as a optimistic progening as a true what is the meaning of it it means that suppose you have projected one role or entity element to the target system so normally what happen you know once you project that role or entity element whatever you have projected that information is going to be you are going, your identity is going to be part of the the target system application group or entity element so that effect if you wanted to get affected immediately into the sale point then you are going to use the optimistic project you are going to specify in a workflow optimistic progening variable as a true so here are the explanation i have given optimistic progening allows the system to update the identities access details instantly after assigning a roles without waiting for progening cycles to complete without progening cycle to be complete i mean like uh, till progening cycle to get completed that whatever the role or entity role or entitlement is assigned for the user it is going to up that role or entitlement is going to be visible for the user into the identity identity secure cloud or ident identity now or sale point so it is useful when you wanted want the identity cube to reflect the changes immediately for the faster processing or visibility so in natural if you want me to tell suppose one user is there he is a senior manager so immediately they want one role to be provision to the that particular manager that effect need to be appear for the user immediately then that kind of situation this optimistic provisioning is going to be useful and most of the workflows they will be specifying as optimistic provisioning variable as a true next question what is the use of future string first of all i want to give ground information about this uh, point what is the use of future string this future string if you open any application object in the debug mode in the sale point you will be finding this future string so the future string it contains whether that particular connector is going to support provisioning password management group provisioning these are the activities that particular connector is supporting or not you can based on that feature string you can say that that particular string is supporting what kind of feature so now if you wanted to check your own what you have to do what you do go to the debug mode open the sale point open sale point open sale point in the debug mode 
open sale point in debug mode i am writing typing here debug mode and select the application object select as application object and after that once you select the application object select the application what are the what are the application you have configured let's say if i configure as active directory active directory so if you open the active directory and uh, if you open the active directory uh, application object you can find the future string you can find the future string so there you can see this parameter you observe that future string and memorize all the points and especially opt students please study this question strongly one two three times four times like this i know many people many students are watching my videos why working while they are working in the some of the places so that's the reason i am dedicating my time for them so this is the things if you are working there and please come back to home and see this thing in the debug mode you can open this application object and to see the feature string next one is what is the difference between build map rule so build map rule and jdbc rule uh, actually sorry what is the diff, what is the use of build map rule that is the question he asked me and after that he asked me what are the differences between the jdbc build map rule and uh, build map rule in the delimited file okay what is the use of build map rule that is one question he asked me and the next question is what okay what are the differences what are the differences between uh, jdbc build map rule and delimiter uh, build map rule build map rule so i want to talk about this thing. so as i said i want you to uh, grab this more knowledge okay so what is the use of build map rule okay what is the use of build map rule okay uh basically this build map rule when it will helps us that i want to talk so okay uh, i got some students here uh, tell me what is uh, aggregate uh, sorry build map rule build map rule is used to manipulate the identity attribute values and uh, uh, bring up a new value let's say i want to generate a display name then i will use the values of first name and last name and try to manipulate it take uh, some value of the first name and last name to make it a display name very good uh, uh, really good so the build map rule what she said suppose you are getting you have a you have other rate system called as auth source okay or else you have other rate okay you have application called as employee you have employee one application is there that is a one application is there in that you have a this is a one of the delimited file let's assume that this is one of the delimited based application object okay that is a point number one and so when you have a delimited file application then you will have one delimiter uh, file right so you will be having let's say you will be having a employee dot csv employee dot csv in that employee dot csv what they said you know so they said i am going to in this csv file i am going to give first name and uh, first name and they are giving as a fn okay shortcut and uh, they are also say that i am going to give last name as a last name is there they are giving you two fields hey they said you create one while you are loading the this data while you are loading this data first name last name data you create one display name you create one display name as first name dot last name if you okay you create it manufacture this field 
while loading this data as a first name dot last name and uh, update this value update this value into sale point that time okay into update this value into the sale point to do this activity we need a build map role we need this map role so okka sari manam feed file lo first name vastadi last name vachidi aa first name last name ni rendu ni kalipi kotta field ni mana tayar cheyali aa kotta ga tayar chesina field ni manam sale point lo update cheyalante అప్డేట్ చేయాలన్నమాట అప్డేట్ చేయమని వాళ్ళ ఎక్స్పెక్టేషన్ అప్పుడు ఈ బిల్డ్ మ్యాప్ రూల్ అనేది ఉపయోగపడుతుంది సో ఈ బిల్డ్ మ్యాప్ రూల్ నువ్వు యూజ్ చేయాలంటే వాట్ ఆర్ ద స్టెప్స్ యూ నీడ్ టు ఫాలో యూ నా ఇప్పుడు ఏం చెప్పానంటే వాట్ ఆర్ ద వాట్ ఈస్ ద యూజ్ ఆఫ్ బిల్డ్ మ్యాప్ రూల్ ఐ టోల్ నౌ దిస్ ఇంప్లిమెంటేషన్ యూ వాంటెడ్ టు డూ ఇట్ హౌ డు యూ ఇంప్లిమెంట్ దిస్ రూల్ హౌ డు యూ ఐ డోంట్ వాంట్ టు ఆన్స్ explain this point because i wanted to answer you what question they asked in the interview so what are the differences between jdbc build map rule and the delimiter build map rule differences between uh, jdbc uh, between jdbc build map rule and delimiter rule so can you please tell you have any information can you please tell okay no problem so so next one is uh, what wa okay what are the differences between jdbc build map rule and delimiter build map rule okay so first of all this build map rule jdbc build map rule and delimited build map rule written type is same as a map written type is uh, delimited build map rule is going to return a map and jdbc build map rule also is going to return map only map contains key and value pairs that is a point number 1 point number 2 is what are the differences they are asking that you need to focus so when they asked if you doesn't know the answer try to attack what you know and uh, after getting some space and uh, you will try to get answer yourself then the main difference is delimited file that arguments that if you open if you want to see the differences open application okay normal mode and uh, open the application and go to the rule section go to the rule section and once you go to the rule section you will be finding a build map rule okay in where okay build map rule is a part of connector rule connector connector rule so in this connector rule okay you if you you open this uh, every student please observe what i am explaining this uh, videos and you try to replicate the same thing in the environment also so that you will be confident you can't do all the practices that i know and now build map rule is there i okay you open this application after that go to the uh, connector rule section and then you can find build map rule there you can observe in the delimiter file in input arguments is a columns and record input input arguments are columns and record whereas jdbc application that uh, input arguments is application no state result state and result this is arguments so i have gone through this all application schema i found this answer i am explaining you you wrote it down this answers and this similarities wise this record okay, this uh, this rule is going to get good for each and every record in the file or record so what is the meaning of if if you ask me suppose as i said in above example i have a mp file emp application i have a emp.csv file okay in that i have 10 records okay in this uh, anyway i typed 100 so let's say 100 records if i run the aggregation task how many times this build map will run run if i run the uh, suppose you have application 
in this application you have configured a build map role okay you have run this aggregation okay that time how many times this build map rule will run for uh, uh, for that application it will iterate for 100 times correct very good so how many records are there in the target system for each and every record this rule is going to get executed you may ask me why it is doing it because you you have told me some time back, okay, you have a first name, last name. By using this last name, first name, last name, you are creating a new field. You are manufacturing a new field, right? So each and every record you have to run. That is the reason it is going to run for each and every record. See, that is the reason we observe here. It is, uh, it is mentioned in the process each record for every uh, process each record from a file in the same way jdbc application differences if you ask me delimited file it is going to pull the data from the file and jdbc application it is going to pull the accounts information from the targeted database that is one of the major difference you can tell and Next one is when it executes, that is what it is explained. You can take a screenshot of this thing and everyone not only watching this video, please write this uh, interview questions into your book. And so for every, for each line of the file during the aggregation, this rule is going to get executed. And uh, it is saying that for each row, written with a sale sql query that time this rule is going to be executed next 